We are at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum where the Arizona Regional First Robotics Championship is being held. And uh, you have about 30, 40 teams here from uh, surrounding states, including New Mexico, that are competing for a chance to go on to the national competition. We go out in the pits, uh, finish building our robots if we're not done, and then take them out onto the field and compete against other high school teams. First is a competition that basically challenges students to, with a kit of parts and a simulated game on a computer, showing you what the robots could do at the end of that six weeks. You're supposed to build a robot that would do something based on the parameters of that game that was described in the animation. Uh, our robot, this year named Jerry after our mentor, the main object is to, first of all, score on the bottom rack, and second of all, to get teams to drive up our ramp to get bonus points at the end of the match. The process was just um, putting the frame, which is built out of fiberglass, and then the transmissions, and then um, the motors. It's a really long process, and plus the electrical wiring. Other than that, it's just working everybody together. You focus on the robot, but it's not just about the robot. You do very, so much more. You want to spread the message of FIRST, which is spread science and technology to encourage students to go into these fields. We start and host our own competitions at our high school. We partner with organizations and universities and elementary schools around our neighborhood. We also reach out to the community by going to public events, setting up booths, and teaching the, little, uh, the smaller kids about FIRST Robotics and getting them interested in doing that. The concept is that in, in uh, FIRST Robotics is trying to get the American youth interested in science and technology. I'm really interested in this program because it's a great um, it's a great avenue for getting into college, you know, helping me get into the college. My communication skills have improved and writing skills have improved and all of that. I love working with the kids. I really do. The robot's cool and I'm good at that and I love programming. But when I see a kid over a course of a year or two decide that they were preparing themselves to enter ASU in electrical engineering and they stay there, they're still there after a year or two of ASU, hey, that, that's the coolest thing in the whole world that you really, really, really touched people. You didn't teach and lecture to them, you really changed lives.